Welcome back. I figured I would do this to kind of fill in gaps between videos since I've got something planned. I'm trying out something a little different with the backdrop and the lighting. I figured since this isn't a full review and I'm just pretty much opening a package I got in the mail, we would do this with a black backdrop. This is just a tablecloth, by the way. It's nothing fancy. So let's take a look at the grade 1100 Astray Red Frame from 2004. The original Astray Red Frame model. Before the Master Grade was technically a thing. Now, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Frame. Second L variant. And we're going to pretty much show the difference between them and why this line was an interesting line for Bandai. Why I wish they also went back and redid the line, because it's quite a good line. So... Let's take a look at everything, shall we? This is factory sealed, brand new, still in the cellophane wrapping from 2004. Here's the bottom of the package. And here's the side of the package. Showing off some nice shots of the model front side. The 120th scale pilot figure that was a common thing in 04. A little bit of history and blurb about low. And a little bit of History there, his look that was in the anime, which was like a six episode OVA. I didn't watch it. This is how I'm used to him looking, so yeah. Pretty much the same on the other side. And on this side, it's pretty much more model shots. That good old classic blue Bandai backdrop. The swords. The beam rifle. The awesome shields and everything i've also been a fan of the red frame now let's crack it open let's see just exactly what a 2004 high grade's like since i want to try to preserve as much of this packaging as possible let's try to cut here at the bottom so if we damage anything we're damaging cardboard not actual art so Let's take a look. I've never actually opened one of these new. All the old kits like this I've bought have been relatively normal and used. You know these are old because Bandit doesn't even wrap their model kits in plastic anymore. Box is a little damaged. I expect that though for something that's been sitting on a shelf since 2004. Let's just attempt to wiggle that out of there. There we go. So the top of the box aside, take a look at the sprues. Got the red sprue. Looks like we got the V-fin here. Part of the skirting armor. The hand for holding the hilt. Looks like a leg part, maybe. Beam saber parts. Shield parts. Parts of the abdomen. On this part, we have this beautiful, beautiful chrome-plated sword, which you won't see on anything anymore. Look at how shiny that is. You've got the scabbard. You've got the handle of the sword. You've got the head parts, the other half of the scabbard, the shield. What I'm concerned with is let's see if there's a lot of black parts of the kit. More red parts making up mostly the inner frame of the kit. The frame of the arms, the frame of the legs, some of the joints throughout the kit, the ankles, the feet, the hips, the torso, your standard fare mostly. All right, and here we've got the 120th scale pilot of low. Looks pretty good. That's about what I expect for a 120 scale pilot figure from this era. Pretty detailed. Looks good. There's all that sort of off-white, almost gray parts that come with pretty much every variant of the Astray. Pretty much any seed kit. There's all the black, kind of gunmetally parts. And the remaining red parts that make up the back of the legs, the inside of the thighs, the knees, the feet. The other knee, the face. And let's take a look at the manual. 
All right, the manual's your standard fare for a model from this era. Some black and white shots, shot a low from the manga. Don't think any of these are the anime shot. Your parts list. Sadly, none of this is translated into English since, well, this was not the time when Bandai was really doing bilingual instructions. So, pretty straightforward. It being a high grade, it pretty much assembles and goes together like a high grade. You got those nice little middle blurbs of the manual, a lot like a master grade that show off the final painted pilot figure, show off all the parts and details of the kit, including the chrome plated sword with the painted tang, the handle off, the beam sabers. Let's face it, we're all going to display a red frame with the katana. We're not going to display it with a beam saber. That's my main thing why I like the red frame is the katana. And it's pretty well detailed though. It looks like it's another winner just like the blue frame. And of course it gives you some blurb about the kit and about the in-universe lore of the stray. And I believe this is the computer that Lil has with him at all times. That I forget the name of right now. Obviously, I'm not even a quarter of the way through the books or the manga yet. So, yeah. These things take a while. And then, of course, here's a little excerpt from the OVA. And yeah, I don't remember the OVA really airing in the States. So, I was too young for it if it did. And here's a continued blurb on the back. Laid out well, pretty straightforward. If it's like the rest of the kits, then it's probably going to be like the blue frame. Have just a couple of gotcha moments. Color guide on the back that is going to need translated. Giving you all the parts of the red frame, the off-white, the red, the gunmetal, the gray. Sort of darker gray color. The green, the light green, the gold parts, the darker gold parts. For low, you've got stuff like the skin tone, the vest color, the pants color, some highlighting colors. I think that's the headband. Parts of the computer, the hair, the inner shirt, the eyes, and the outer casing. At least that's what I would do it in. Some more of the clothing parts of the screen, the computer, one of the two. I'm not real great at reading kanji, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like altogether it'll be a pretty solid kit. I mean, all things considered, it's one of those models that pleasantly surprised me when I built the blue frame and pleasantly are going to surprise me on the red frame as well. These models are something that I wish Bandai would go back to doing. They're great kits that look good, are surprisingly well done and aren't as much of the model aesthetic as something like the seed kit, like the high grades usually at this time were. Because for those of you who didn't grow up with early 2000s high grades, or those of you that didn't remember early 2000s high grades, most of the 1 144th scale ones were truly a model kit and not technically considered a figure afterward. They were just extremely fragile and were built to be a model. Needed paint, needed detail work, needed a lot of panel lines scribed into them. All that fun jazz. Not typically something that I myself have a problem with, but most general modelers who are not in this hobby as a modeling hobby are probably going to have an issue with it. Although I'm glutton for punishment because I really enjoy master grades and I feel that once you've built enough high grades in your day, you graduate to master grades, especially when they're designs you really like. I dislike Seed as a series. I dislike the writing. I think Astray is far better written, despite being in the same universe. But I can't admit all the mobile suit designs of Seed are great. The mobile suit designs look phenomenal. Upcoming reviews that are taking a while, not only because of the size of the kits, but... Also, my work schedule, adjusting to a new pair of glasses, 
working out a few editing kinks here and there. There's a few things I'm trying to work out. That's why they've been delayed. And of course the work I've been doing on the blue frame, it slowed things down. So I figured this would be a nice change of pace, kind of still get some content out there, still have it pertain to what most of the channel is about and still be able to talk about what the channel is doing and talk about giant plastic robots and not have to worry too much about putting a lot of effort into this since this is, like I said, a tablecloth and one of my studio lights, my mic strapped to me. Pretty simple. I might start doing more of these mailbag videos like this where I show old model kits I've purchased, hobby purchases I've done throughout the week or the month. If you guys would like to see more mailbag or just videos in general pertaining to things I found online that I got or things that I got for video content or just in general unboxings of model kits, PVC anime figures, um, unboxings of certain action figures, let me know. I got tons of stuff and tons of variety to go for it. I'm a borderline hoarder. I don't throw out packaging. So if you guys need to request anything, let me know. And as long as it pertains to the channel and you know, it stays within that PG guideline, I'm fine with that. So let me know what you guys think. Leave some stuff in the comments. And we'll be reviewing this model soon enough. I'll be explaining everything there is to explain with the model. I have a feeling it'll be very similar to the blue frame where it'll be a very solid kit, but won't require much in the way of actual over explanation as to how parts work. So stay tuned.